Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we're going to learn about creating an assembly with a transition lane. So let's get started. In this exercise, you'll create a corridor assembly with transitions. So let's go about creating an assembly baseline. Go ahead and open up your corridor-2A drawing in your tutorials folder. Next, go to your home tab and then to your create design panel and then select the drop down for assembly. Select create assembly and then we get a create assembly dialog box. We're going to give it a name of transition and we're going to leave all of the rest of the defaults alone. Go ahead and click OK. When the specify assembly baseline location prompt is displayed on the command line, go ahead and click a point in the drawing to place the assembly. I'm going to place it right over here. The viewport zooms to the assembly baseline, which looks like this. So let's go about adding a lane subassembly. Let's go ahead and open up our tool palette. And then make sure we're in the Civil Imperial Subassemblies palette. The way to go about making sure is to right click on the control bar and we can select it right here. Now make sure you're on the Basic tab and then select Basic Lane Transition. Under the Advanced portion of our properties, make sure that we're on the right side and for the default width we're going to specify 14 feet. For depth we're going to specify 1 foot and for transition, we're going to change offset and elevation. In the drawing, click the marker point on the assembly baseline. Now you'll see a lane is drawn, extending it 14 feet to the right with a slope of negative 2% and a depth of 1 foot. Let's add a curb and gutter to this subassembly. In the tool palette, select Basic Curb and Gutter, and then go back to our Advanced Properties, and make sure that we're on the right side, and with a gutter width of 1.25 feet. In the drawing, select the top right edge of the lane to draw the curb and gutter. Now let's add a sidewalk subassembly. In the tool palette, select Basic Sidewalk. Next, go into your Properties. This is going to be on the right side again. With a buffer width of 2 feet. And for another buffer width of 3 feet. In the drawing, go ahead and select the back of curb. Now let's add a ditch subassembly. In the tool palette, Select this subassembly. Next, go into your properties, and under advanced, we have a lot of options here. But first, we're going to start off with the side. We're going to leave it at right, and we're going to keep things simple. We're going to specify a three on one slope. In the drawing, go ahead and click the outside marker. In the tool palette, Go ahead and select Basic Lane Transition. And then under Advanced, we're going to choose a side of left with a default width of 12 feet and with a depth of 1 foot. For the transition, we're going to hold Grade and change Offset. In the drawing, we're going to select our marker point on this side of the assembly baseline. A lane is drawn extending 12 feet to the left with a slope of negative 2% and a depth of 1 foot. Now let's mirror the subassemblies outside the right lane. Go ahead and press escape to exit the subassembly placement mode. In the drawing on the right hand side of the assembly, make sure you select the curb 
the sidewalk, and the daylight subassemblies. Right click and select Mirror. Now select the marker point at the top left edge of our transition lane. Now you can see that the subassemblies are displayed on the left side of the assembly marker. The mirror command creates a mirror image of the selected subassemblies. All the subassembly parameters except for the side parameter are retained. Now note that the parameters of the mirrored subassemblies are not dynamically linked. If you change a parameter value for a subassembly on one side of the assembly baseline, the change will not be applied to the opposite side. So that's how you go about creating an assembly with a transition lane in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.